So one, why does diffusion occur? Why does diffusion occur? Because of random collisions. So the reason, so random motion causes diffusion because they collide with each other and they go further and further and further away from each other. It's a random process. It's haphazard. But can we tell which direction it will go in? Yes. It goes in all directions unless you stop it from going one side. Then it goes in the other direction. What is the eventual goal of diffusion? Homogeneity. Everything distributed uniformly. What factor affects it? The higher kinetic energy and the lower mass. So this one, I'll put it here in the brackets that no need to memorize this. But this is important. If you have two things that are moving, diffusing at different rates, one option is they have different kinetic energy. The other option is they have different mass. So for example, if I want nitrogen and carbon monoxide to diffuse differently, I can't change their mass, but I can change their kinetic energy. I can heat one up and cool the other one down and the hotter one will move faster. Many questions about this are given in the question. I'm going to share a worksheet with you and I want you to attempt that worksheet and uh, I'll share the solution as well. And yeah. That's it for today. We still have a few minutes. So let's do the past paper questions for this. So we are done with this chapter, chapter one, which is states of matter. And uh, I think that's good. That's good progress.